Oh boy. Starting off with some coughs. Oh, I forgot to send my tweet. No. It saves tweets, doesn't it? How do I look at like... Ah, oh, I exited out not even thinking of where I was. Oh well. I'll just upload it again. Uh, I think it, I said today might be the last day I play. There's tons of other games I want to play and not a whole lot of time. Something like that. Probably do hashtag, right? Get it out there. Not so fast. I gotta get to know you first. What would you bring to the Strikers? Done anything special? Something that might impress us? Yeah, watch this. Huh? What do you think about that one? Can I join your gang? Uh, silly, silly. Silly Willy the Penguin. Um, what was I in the middle of? Oh, I just, I just gave her back her, or I gave her her award. Oh my gosh. Feels like there's something on my palm. Uh, right. Captain, my captain. Operations does good work. So I heard there was a bit of excitement on the Siren of the Stars. Your handiwork, I assume? Uh, yes. Yes, and I heard there were no casualties. Excellent work. Except for the ecliptic hit squad that you took down at the archives. I'm taking care of that mess, <clears throat> by the way. Wait. Speaking of which, Wait, I what? copied the information from the Galbank's computers. Let me see what you've got. So the legacy What squad did I take out? Bannock 4. Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant, sir. There isn't a ship in the fleet that could safely get near that type of world. I thought I already did this. Agata will figure it out. It sounds like you admire that lunatic. X defiant public test set. Huh? Um. I don't admire him, but you have to admit he's been clever. I think his gospel's gone straight to your head. 
Maybe we made a mistake choosing you for yeah. this assignment. Now I'm sneezing. That's enough, Lieutenant. Yeah. Even if Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem, there's still the matter of tracing the legacy's transponder signal. Bye, Mr. Obvious. Bye, Mr. Obvious. Today might be the last day of this game. We'll see. We'll see. Um. <laughs> They think something called the comp spike will solve that they problem. Have information about the comp spike? I'll solve the tweet. Okay. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that device, sir. No, you shouldn't be familiar with it. It's a highly classified project. Hmm. It's an advanced signal decryption and tracking device that the UC Navy's been working on for years. How the hell did the Crimson Fleet find out about that? Yes. There must be an information leak somewhere, sir. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'll see what I can find out. Fine. This is what we're going to do. You keep playing along and go after the comm spike. Lieutenant Toft and I will see what we can find out about Bannock 4. Okay. Um, and I'll report back with any evidence I recover. Perfect. Just stick with the plan. And he said, we'll see who gets there first. Oof. Well. Sis Def Marines are the best of Some big words there, brother. All right, Jazz. What do you got? According to the latest, the com spike is being developed at UC Star Station SY920. Location undisclosed. Fantastic. So, how do we disclose it? <laughs> we could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on Jimison. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. Mm. All right, Rook. Next stop, New Atlantis. Roger. Your connection is Juan Dai. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY. Just remember to count your fingers after. Uh, should I expect any trouble? You're in the fleet. You should. Yeah, okay. As far I guess that was a silly goes. question. Even though she's one of our newer contacts, you shouldn't have any problems dealing with her. Okay. I sure hope so. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, according to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device. Basically, you break it. I'll bring it back in You're one better. piece. Oh, and one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. Uh-oh. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. 
If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal because you're going to need it. Well, technically. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So, in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. You'll make sure privileges of rent and you get the hell out of here. Good luck. Um, so we obviously do not want, um, any casualties. <clears throat> nah, I mean. So that's going to be kind of rough. We're going to do this super quietly. Maybe we could persuade people. Hello. I take it your neighbor's new recruit. Yeah. And, and you must be the smuggler. Careful. The walls have ears. Hmm. SY 920 is one of my regular stops, so I already have the necessary approvals. Neva says you're after a piece of UC tech. So to get it, we're going to need to get you on board. I can do that, but I have conditions. All right. Good. If I can be candid, for this job to work, we'll have to do this my way. We take my ship, and you're a member of my crew. But make no mistake, once you board, the risk is entirely yours. This route is highly lucrative. And sacrificing it is not an option. Um. Okay. Good. Then we have a deal. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. And make sure you're prepared for the long haul. Once you're on board, we'll talk more on the ship. Whoops. Whoops. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Oh, is that the spaceport? Lol. This way. I guess we're leaving. I kind of forgot what. Oh, we're, we're looking for... Okay, never mind, I got it. Uh, how do I go up? Nobody can oh, that's stop cool. Crimson fleet. Truer words have never okay. been spoken, brother. <clears throat> you know what? I forgot to do something while we were back.
Always looking for the next mark. Uh I don't get it. If one ladder's here and one ladder's here. Maybe you go down this one? Go down one to go up another? No. Oh, I'm so confused. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Wow, you really expected me to find that on my own? That's wild. Yes. Yes. All right, a few things to note. When we get to the checkpoint, UC military will be hailing us. Let me do the talking. Return your <coughs> piece of cargo if you have to. Uh, shouldn't be a problem. Of course. I don't expect it to be. Now, like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back. Okay. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other question, let's go. All right, then get comfortable. We leave for SY920 immediately. All crew prepare for takeoff. Routing. Ah! I'm not ready. Whoa. That was dank. Worry about your personal ship. Nate will make sure it's secure. You can take this time to prepare. Just try not to bother my pilot while they're flying. Don't worry, Captain. I've spent half my life warming and shooting the arm at the same time. I can handle it. Oh, so we're just also supposed to kind of wait? For double duty. Captain, I retract my earlier statement. For the wreckers and the crew. You left there safe. Roger that. Hmm. Aha. Oh. You've entered secure UC military space. Identify yourself or you will be considered hostile. This is Captain Juan Dayu. Cargo class ship ID UC-7938, requesting permission to dock. Identity confirmed. Prepare your ship for scanning. You're cleared to dock in docking bay 2. Looks like we're clear. We'll talk more once we're docked. Okay. What the heck? Are we upside down? <laughs> Are we upside down? I'm very confused. Okay, we're in. First things first. The station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform. And to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. Oh. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door Among downstairs. Us. There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. All right. I would hope not. But if they do, either way, for now, get on that station and find. Got it. Find a disguise. That's going to be kind of cool. Glad you're in the fleet. If you weren't, I would have killed you already. <laughs> what? Gain access to the barracks and find a uniform. 
You with the Jade Swan? Loading and unloading only. Stay clear of the military barracks. Ah, oh, yes, we of need course. We a lot of cargo to keep a station this size running. Hello. Hold up. This area is for. Uh, I forgot my uniform. Rules are rules. Yeah. Oh, come on. I suppose it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I get that this place can be. That's true. Maybe so, but that. Sorry, no uniform. The plus one didn't work. That's wild. Uh, damn. Nothing to see here. Um, uh, ah, okay, these wait. This one's used for this one only. So is it... This... Oh, I got one, two, three. And it's this. And this one... save i did it wrong <laughs> what's up all day you with the jade swan i was caught tampering with a lock do not get into shipbuilding i haven't i haven't even like tried to look You know? Uh, I know that Robin spent a ton of time with the shipbuilding and a lot of money. <laughs> um, this one. Oh, I did it wrong. Oh, no, I didn't. This one. Oops. Oh, did I do it wrong? Oh, no, I didn't. Nice. Does the robot see me? Okay. Oh, we're good. Besides sludge. Will they hear this? I wanted my 5 XP. LOL. Close. It's fun. Well, that's good. It's kind of crazy. That's like a whole nother component uh, of this game. Look at me. I am. Oh, that's actually pretty cool looking. What the heck? Nice. What you got? Ooh. What up, poke? Th 
13 months. <clears throat> Thank you very much. With the Prime Gaming, nonetheless. You can use it anywhere you decided to use it here. Uh, and I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, I need to stop looting and just do what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I get so caught up in looting. Things have gotten real tight since Commander Dakar. Tight. I've heard the engineers say Dr. Vogel. Yeah, me too. State your business. These. I need to report to command bay for duty. Logging and sin level clearance. Go on ahead. Thank you. Oh, so I could have opened this and just snuck my way all the way through. I guess. I got this little bit of a cough now, and it's gonna drive me insane. This is Captain Juan Dayu. I've made it to the command bay. Good. And no alarm, so I won't. If you found a uniform, be sure to put it on. Don't know what you're after, but I'm guessing there'll be another check as far down. You might need a clearance code. Um. I could use the uniform I picked up and walk my way past the guards. Like deliberately drawing attention to yourself. But a disguise is never a bad idea. Okay. The uniform won't be enough, though. You'll need to find a computer with the code. Try the security office. It's going dark for now. We'll talk again. Hey, bye bye. Not yet. A clearance code. Need oh. your clearance code, Marine. I don't have it. Hold on. Uh, I must have got turned around. I'll say. You might want to track down your commanding officer and have them clarify. Yeah, I didn't mean to walk that way. <clears throat> and you just like talk the wrong way and then I get a tickle in my throat and it's like, Bleh. Is this trespassing? Security. Ah, uh, I like digipics. How's, uh, how's tar bobbin been going, Poke? Pretty good wipe so far, or what? Uh, wait. I should probably do this while I'm hidden, just in case. did this right yeah sheesh um was i supposed to remember any of that though oh master oh heck yeah we're opening this better be some good loot in here slot the first one and we'll take it layer by layer uh so this one goes here this one could be used here which very likely it will be so this in a single and then for this one would be this this 
Uh, and this? I think. Yeah, I'm just trying not to shoot myself in the foot, you know? I think it's this. This. Yeah. Am I allowed to be in here? <laughs> they don't care. Can you pickpocket in this game? Am I just like... There's no way that it's not a thing, right? Oh, there's a perk for it? Oh my gosh, this whole time I had no idea. I never saw this. Darn it. Well, that is awkward. Okay. Well, anyways. Need your clearance code, Marine. All right, Ensign, let's hear it. Uh, I hope one of these is a real one. Sorry, Ensign. Code doesn't matter. What? Need your clearance code, Marine. They're gonna get suspicious. All right, Ensign. Let's hear. Sorry, Ensign. I really gotta go back and look at it. Ensign? This AK? 127C? AK? Need your clearance code, Marine. All right, Ensign, let's hear. Sorry, Ensign. Code does. What's my, uh, am I supposed to have like a fake name that I don't remember that Here's I have? Code, All right, Ensign, let's hear it. Sorry, Ensign. It's literally the last one. You're kidding me. Need your clearance code, Marine. All right, Ensign, let's hear it. You're clear, Ensign Zeremi. Oh, Ensign Zeremi. Zeremi? Yeah, I don't remember having Commander Natara. a Best name. You aren't assigned to this level, Ensign. You need to leave. If you don't belong here, you need to get back to your post, Ensign. I won't ask again. I'm supposed to be here. I think. Is she following me? No? Okay. Calm, Spike. so over this um 
records. <clears throat> Open sesame. Ooh. How are the tests for the comms by door? Dr. Vogel has put in a request for more personnel. It seems there was an accident. It's always something with that doctor. Not to change the subject, but are we concerned about the potential leaks? No. Until you can provide more substantial. Hmm. Die you here. Goggles almost unloaded. You are? And I've delivered you just as the Gardel asked. That being said, I can stay in orbit for a short while. I'll need to send word to Delgado anyway, if you don't get off that station. <coughs> but it looks like you'll need to find your own way off the ship. What? That doesn't mean you're trapped. On a station this big, there are bound to be other vessels you can... Uh, see. this is a side quest right now. It's the, like, a Crimson Fleet side quest. Uh, but after I'm done with this one... Is this side quest long? Uh, yeah, it took me a good amount of of yesterday to do it. I'm I'm assuming I'm like close to the end of it. And then after I'm done with this one, I'm going to do the, the main storyline and try to wrap this playthrough up as best I can. <clears throat> I understand the spoilers. I understand. That's why I'm trying to wrap this up because like I want to I want to experience the game obviously, but I know a lot of people that have been wanting to watch the streams or hang out and chat, but obviously they're playing it as well and they don't want the spoilers and I can relate to that. I've made it this far. I can sneak my way off. You've made it this far without engaging in combat. I trust you have no issues moving further. It was an honor to work with a true professional. Thanks. Good luck. If you make it out alive, next time you're at the Nova, I'll buy you a drink. I'm gonna buy you a drink. So I'm not supposed to be here? I'm confused. I'll save just in case. I... <clears throat> I've surprisingly not gotten anything about this game like spoiled or on TikTok, like YouTube or TikTok. Usually like YouTube will have like a crazy, I've heard the team is just like title or yes, if you have experience flying. thumbnail you and you're like, dude, board. why? I don't know. That's messed up. Gone under a lot of changes lately, but commander the tower ship Intercepting transponder data in the Hoffa system might be promising. Wait, who are you? Why are you in here? Did you not see the sign? We put spoilers on their post? That's messed up. Usually the, like, I would assume mods are pretty good at making sure there's stuff like that there. Um, I'm doing routine check. Of the comm spike. I need access to the device. Don't you mean access to the ship? Because the comm spike isn't a device, it's a module. I knew it's that. It's to a prototype in one of our docking ports. We're still in the testing phase, running decryptions across a <laughs> variety of signal types. But the results so far have been very promising. It can even interpolate signal data lost in the retrieval. It really is a wondrous technology. Hmm. Uh, decryption on that level has vast military applications. No wonder that UC is interested in it. Yes, it's not quite cracking the Enigma code. We'll be able to infer everything from battle plans to meal consumption. Not that we'd care about that sort of thing. And yes, 
There are certain kinks to be worked out, missing parts, and the occasional traumatic injury here. Um... I'd be a good pilot. I love the adventure. Yes. It's not the destination, but the journey that matters. <laughs> Particularly when the destination is death. But don't worry. We've corrected the problem death. with the ship's life support systems, and statistical models show a failure rate of less than 2%. In short, I've requested a so you're saying there's a chance brave and fearless Marines to be transferred to the station. They'll give the prototype a final run, and provided there are minimal casualties, we can present our findings to Mast. Oh, uh, I'm one of those new test pilots, actually. Splendid. That Normally my request I see It would have been nice You're yes. right We do need to hurry if we're going to have this module ready I love having Riz Alright, you've convinced me You're the new test pilot You'll need a uniform and a terminal password To authorize a flight and get past Natara's cumbersome checkpoints The uniform you can get in the locker room area The password you get from me You'll find the prototype ship at docking bay 8. Use the password to access the flight terminals in the control center. And of course, best of luck. You are do- Thank you. Heck yeah. Um, where's this go? Oh. I don't want to be sussy in the vents. Stop right there, Ensign. Why? There's been word of suspicious behavior from someone matching your description. Uh, I think you got the wrong person. All right. Perhaps you'd like to elaborate. Oh, we're using manipulation. Huh. That... That's what I'm hoping. All right, you're clear. Yes. Just keep in mind there's been reports of a possible intruder on the premises. Oh no. We would hate for that to happen. Run! Uh... What is that? It requires a key. Oh. I guess I'm getting sussy in the vents. Oof. Save just in case. Nothing to see here. Don't talk to me. Hmm. This is going to be uh, tricky, isn't it? Are there people on this? No. Prototype ship, you are not cleared for takeoff. What's going on over there? talking about get me the wolf then
Hmm. I don't want to go about this. Prototype ship, you are not cleared for takeoff. Yeah, yeah, What's going yeah. On over there? So what's the purpose of getting the disguise and everything if... Unauthorized launch from engineering... All ships, secure the prototype. Have visual, safety's off. Let's see if it works this time. Surely. How did they get it that fast? Bruv. All right. Well, then it looks like we're just going to do um, what we did last time. We had to do this stupid section. You just turn it to very easy. <laughs> it ain't easy being cheesy. Nothing. Not me. Not me. So that means I should be able to just make this jump, right? Oh my god, I'm double clicking. This UI is so bad, man. to switch my home ship again unless it no because we're like turning this one in so technically board is clear we're docked it defaults me to my other one maybe well 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 welcome back Rook. yeah in the fleet you have to put up shut up oops Oh, I should probably... Although, what does this do? Plus five reload speed? It's kind of nice. Might keep that on. As long as you put the fleet first, Hello. Nice to know Neva was right about you. It's good. Uh, couldn't done it without you. I won't deny I helped. What? Anyway, I believe I owe you a drink. Yeah. Because if Dalgado's right about Crix's legacy, you've earned more than your fair share already with that comm spike. Uh, it's as good as ours. Sounds like you're on board as a true believer. I'm a believer. I have to admit, the way things are going, I'm starting to believe myself. Heck yeah. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Now that you've had your drink and my debt is paid, it's time for you to give Delgado the good news. Yes, it is. Move! Frog is fine. Rook. Uh, 
up. Always listen to Delgado. Unless you want to get me. Oh, I could have just jumped. Wow. Jasmine tells me that you not only brought us the comp spike, but an entire prototype UC ship. I'm impressed, Rook. Very impressed. Uh, the comp spike was built into the ship, so I didn't really have a choice. Should have taken the compliment, <clears throat> Rook. I, am I people? Juan gave I us the full rundown of your little I saw smash free. and grab operation. She gave you some really high praise. And from what I hear, receiving praise from Juan Dayu is quite an accomplishment. All in all, a job well done. Now, on to the business at hand. Jasmine, are you there? Yep, I'm here, boss. What's up? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from <laughs> one end to the other. Com spike shouldn't be too tough to extract. I'm looking forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. Keep me posted. All right. That leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. And I think we've discovered a solution. He thinks. There's a corporation in the city of Neon called Jennerdyne. They're responsible for the massive conduction grid that powers the city. Mm -hmm. Get our hands on their electrical absorption tech. And Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Bannock 4. All right. You damn right she can. My girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Now, why don't you give us the info on our neon gun? You get to meet up with... She's had her deft little fingers on the pulse of neon for some time now. Whatever info you need, I guarantee she can get it. Estelle is one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet. If I want something done, there's none of the typical bullshit. It gets done, and afterward, we all split the cash. All right. No, no, no. There is no getting along here. You are going to do everything she asks. She is valuable to the fleet. Okay. Estelle will be waiting at ma I'd say don't keep her waiting. And keep your eyes on the price. We are one step away from Got it. Got it. Um oops. Have I not explored? Can I just Thank you. Jeez. Welcome to UC Space. Maintain your current course while we scan your ship's cargo. Oh, yes, of course. Scan complete. You are clear to land at New. Well, that's not where I was going. Landis, please enjoy better. your visit to Jemison. Lloyd's <laughs> all great. Successful jump. She's kisses. Nom, 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 nom. Talking complete.
<laughs> hey. Hey. Excuse me. Word is you had to steal classified tech. It seems you had quite the eventful mission on your hands. You still have the Crimson Fleet's trust. Okay. And I never figured out how to pronounce it. I'm going to assume. No, hold on. I'm going to just say Kim. Kim. Kimak? Kimik? Kim. Kimak? Kimak? Kimik? Kimik? Kimak? Those are all my pronunciation attempts. <clears throat> yes. Either works. <laughs> well, hello. Nice to see you again. Uh, how did your uh, Overwatch games go? It was uh, late for me, so I had to go on to bed, you know? If you would kindly continue. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh it was quite tricky. But you did so with an abundance of stealth was rough. and restraint. That's yeah. exactly what we're looking for in a sysdev operative. Excuse me, oh. sir. I hate to interrupt, but did you it's finish that, uh, that tier us. list? Yes, of course, Lieutenant. Time is short and we should get to the matter at hand. Please give me your report. Ah, uh, Delgado has Jasmine working on the comm spike. Then it's just a matter of time yeah. before she reverse engineers it to fit the fleet's purposes. So what does Delgado have you doing next? Has he solved the Bannock 4 problem? Um. Uh... He believes the conduction grid in Yan is the key. The conduction grid? That's a wee bit controversial. But is it actually possible? It's 80 year old tech. Sorry, sir. The conduction grid is how Neon generates. It's really power. good, yeah. It essentially absorbs lightning strikes and converts it to usable energy. Like in terms of it would take a hell of an engineer to modify. Excuse the me, I have a bad cough. In terms of previous Bethesda games, you know, like Skyrim and Fallout. That's the case. Oh, the character models are really good. Neon that our operative will be touching down there in the near future. Absolutely, sir. And before you depart. And if I saw correctly, you were you playing o uh, Overwatch on Switch? They're finally beginning to believe that we can take down the Crimson Fleet and make amends for the UC's embarrassing mistake. Um, I'm pleased they're finally taking you it's seriously. All right, I suppose that's all for now. I'll be looking forward to your next report. Yeah, Look, please. I was surprised the game okay. looked that good with it being on Switch. I'm not worried about the fleet. You know, I just, uh, I don't know if you've recently. <laughs> If you've recently seen, so Mortal Kombat 1 came out uh, last week. And I don't know who signed off on having an Xbox One series, whatever the newest one is called, a PS5, and the Nintendo Switch release. Like, they didn't even do PS4 or Xbox One. Like they did all next gen and switch and the graphics on the switch version of it are horrendous and it's still $70. So when seeing overwatch on it, I was surprised at like, I guess how decent it looked. I mean, for running on a switch, but Mortal Kombat one looked bad, bad. Did you, uh, did you play any Tears of the Kingdom at all? Uh, what do I want to upgrade? What do I want to upgrade? Oh, scoped weapons? Or steadier? I mean, I don't feel like mine sway. <clears throat> Increase accuracy and range when shooting without aiming. 
Oh, so hip fire? What? Yeah, Legend of Zelda game. Mm hmm. Indeed. Yeah, I never played a ton of them either. <clears throat> but I did play um, Breath of the Wild when it came out. And I, I wasn't a huge fan of it, honestly. Like, there were just some things about it. I'm like, mm, I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then uh, I played Tears of the Kingdom. And like everything that was great about Breath of the Wild, they just made it like so much better in Tears of the Kingdom. So currently, Tears of the Kingdom is my game of the year. Um, I still need to play Baldur's Gate 3, which I'm starting this Saturday. Uh, Spider-Man 2 comes out in October. So, you know, that could sway my opinion. Uh, and those are the only ones that are like... I mean, I mean, this game's nice and it is some people's game of the year. But what's going to be kind of interesting to see that I'm curious about is apparently this cyberpunk update, the cyberpunk 2.0 update. If you don't know, they completely like uh, revamped the game. It's it's basically like a new game, like they just made the game better. And so everyone's like. Can we count this as like a second release and then give it a bunch of a reward awards or whatever? And so I'm curious to see what that's going to be like or how they handle that. And played a lot of Nintendo games, grew up playing on PS4. Nice. Yeah, I, I like I the GameCube is like one of my favorite consoles. And I I have played so many games on GameCube, but surprisingly Peanut 67 ugly. Yeah. GameCube Master Race. Yeah, so see Bloke will know. Bloke will know. Um by the way, Kim, Bloke is my younger brother. But GameCube go crazy. But the thing was, is we never really played like any of the Mario games that came out on GameCube. Like we didn't play Mario Sunshine or Mario Party or Smash Brothers or any of the Kirby games or Star Fox. Like all like Nintendo mascot games, I guess. Like we just didn't have them for some reason. Uh, so even like Blake's the one that owns the switch that I've played all the games on because I just haven't found enough reason to buy one, I guess, because I don't really travel and like he plays it every so often. I play it every so often. So it kind of just works. But I am a big fan of Pokemon. So, and I, and I have not finished my Pokemon uh, Violet playthrough. I haven't done that yet. Hmm. I completely forgot about Pokemon Violet. Not gonna lie. <laughs> not gonna lie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't worry about it, Blake, because I, I trust me, if I was like, if I knew I was going to be playing it soon, I would I would have already asked you. But there's just so many other games that like I'm playing now where it's like. I'll, I'll probably end up playing more of that in like November, or December when when game releases are kind of on like a. low his games are going crazy right now in terms of like releases that i'm excited for oh throwing grenades now shows a trajectory arc you know what let's do that because now i'm curious 
comm spike. Not like they have a brain. Get the Spider-Man PS5. Yeah, just get the Spider-Man PS5, forehead. said about yeah right yeah you kind of need monies for that don't you what are you so upset about I'm confused I mean, how many games have you really played on it besides Ragnarok? Who knows? Maybe you can sell it for a decent price. Oh, that's right. You are. <laughs> like, someone had to have known what they were doing when they made that post, right? Right? That's so funny. Bought the Switch because uh, it was cheap. I mean, the Switch is like... I just... I just wish it was like a slightly more powerful console in a way. Like, it's being so held back. Like, Tears of the Kingdom, like I said, is my game of the year. But if Tears of the Kingdom released on hardware that's found in Xbox and PlayStation... Oh. Oh my goodness! It would. I, I, I don't. I don't know. Like it. Apparently, I don't qualify. It's being held back. And I get it because it's supposed to be a portable console and whatever. But I feel like Nintendo needs to. It wouldn't make sense for a business standpoint, but like, they gotta make like, if they're gonna do something, they gotta make like two consoles. You know, like how PlayStation at one point had like PS4 and PS Vita. So they were making games specifically for Vita and games specifically for PS4. All right. Nintendo needs to be like, look, this is our console now. Like, look at our Nintendo console. You're going to be able to play Mario in 60 frames per second, 4K, whatever, HD, blah, 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 blah. And we also have this console which would essentially just be the switch and like, Hey, this is our portable. Like hey there. they can easily do it. You know what I'm saying? You looking to get <clears throat> zone? What'd she just say? Uh, I'm not a tourist, so you can drop the act. Oh, it's not an act. If you're looking to score some Aurora, we can talk later. But for now, since you're clearly the rook that Delgado sent, Let's talk business. Save both of us some time. Yeah. Turn around, fly back to the key, and tell the big boss that I'm in no <clears> mood <throat> to screw around. We'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously. Um, let's cut the crap and get to work. Are you serious? You're just gonna completely blow me off like that. I spent the last three months setting up this job, burned two contacts. And oh, wait, I was supposed to listen to everything she said. The whole time, I'm also keeping Bayou off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. We both need to do what we're told. Yep, just like a couple of Model A's. Program us, point us in Trying the right to get at R6 again. Go. Uh, me, Robin, a ton of time to stand here and screw Peachy, around. Lazy, so and Seth. Clear as possible. The, the OG squad. The tech, we played some not too long ago. From the power core of <clears throat> facility, Game's rough to get back into again. Because everyone's so good. Bet I'm dusty. Man, I bet you musty. Boy, you better lick your lips, because I bet they crusty. Oh, 
Oh. Well. Yeah. I didn't listen to what she said. That sounds easy enough. Lots of confidence. But before you pull the ripcord, I'm afraid oh, I wait. need to add a bit of Blake, a thanks for the 33 months. While Sorry, I didn't even say thank you. Down, I need you to plant a virus into their system. It's a simple side job that'll earn you some credits. I think you can handle it. I can handle it. Every time I hear that, all I can think of is uh, Jaden Smith from... What's that JB song? <laughs> oh, you say I can handle him? Oh, whatever. Uh, but yeah, they got like a whole... I know I'm gorgeous, but you don't have to stand there and stare. Okay, calm down. I was listening to music. Um, the god don't ever mention anything about a virus. That's because you're planning it for me as a favor. Jennerdine has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their databanks, and I want access. Here, take this micro drive and access the computer in Brayson Bayou's office. It'll do the oh, rest it, on the it was though, Blake, because um, it might be wireless, but you aren't going to be able to use it from here, genius. Thermite, uh, thermite. Their place locked down tight, but as usual, the weak link comes from. Oh my gosh, I'm having a brain there. fart. What is the I other operatives? Ma uh, a Thatcher, thermite and Thatcher Get combo. Your hands on her security Ooh. Pass and you'll have the run of the place. Uh, oh, I have some pull at Ryujin. Ryujin Club doesn't mean shit at Jennerdine. Okay, so fine. You, anyway, you can find Komiko at Euphorico. Talk to the owner of the place, Micah. She'll point you in the right direction. As for dealing with I think Komiko I know these herself, people. She's got an office in the Trade Tower if you're looking for something incriminating. The rest is up to you, Rook. When you're done, come meet me at the VR. Okay. Bye. Don't let Komiko push you around. She isn't as tough as she's. Uh, but yeah, they have like a whole, they finally have a shooting gallery or a warm up th thing. For siege. Well, which one's the incriminating evidence? Let's go find that one. Will it tell me? Oh yeah. Whee! <clears throat> Cause any trouble? Yeah, yeah, of course you will. Hello. Yeah, what? Is this important? I'm really busy right now. Let me save you some time. If you're here for a job, we're not hiring. If you're here about the conduction grid tour, we shut it down a year ago. Uh, I don't need a job. Good. If you were, you'd be the twelfth person I've turned away this year. What a waste. Look. How do you count? I'm sorry if I'm blowing up at you. Yeehaw! Well, hello there. No time to deal with them all. I'm afraid that things aren't going terribly Thank you well. very much, Ericon, for the thirty-two months. Man, that's crazy. That's a long time. Um, maybe we should like. Maybe he'll help us if we're nice. If you don't mind talking about it, I'm willing to listen. I don't care if I'm allowed to or not. I'm happy to get this off my chest. Okay. The conduction grid went online almost 75 years ago. Mm hmm And since then, we haven't developed a single groundbreaking innovation. Oof. At this point, the money we're taking in as a power utility barely covers the waste that's going on in the research and development division. Um... Breaking even is better than being out of business? Of course it is, but we're teetering on the edge of a precipice. One wrong move and the whole operation precipice. topples into the ocean. The problem is that Brayson Bayou, Administrator Bayou's brother, 
is currently heading up the R&D division. Mm -hmm. I swear to you, the man doesn't know the first thing about power systems or electromagnetic technology. Of course not. So you don't have much of a choice. None whatsoever. Look, I'm running out of options. No one above me seems to care what's going on, but I'm willing to take a chance. I have a full report on Brayson that I want to send to Administrator Bayou, but I don't know if he can be trusted. What do you think I should do? Oh God. Um. If you're worried about this company, then send that report to the Administrator Bayou. You know what? You're absolutely right. I can't allow Brayson to run this company into the ground. Hey, look, uh, thanks for helping me out with this. It's been on my mind for a long time. If there's anything else you need, any questions at all, feel free to ask. Pay no attention to the man behind the mirror. Um, man behind the curtain. Whoops. Mind if I ask you some questions about Kamiko? As long as it doesn't get me into serious trouble, ask away. Whoa. Manipulation. I Easy. Think... Yeah, I hope so. Okay, listen. You didn't hear this from me. But I know she's up to something with Benjamin Bayou. Ooh. He was in her office a few weeks ago, and they had some kind of shouting match. It got really heated until Bayou stormed out the door. I don't know what it was about, but I happen to know Miss Komiko keeps audio recordings of all her meetings in her safe. And before you ask, yes, I'll unlock it for you. Just don't tell anyone I helped, okay? Ariana Grande. Um. Because I'm sick and tired of the corruption that's running through this city. People around here spend half their lives terrified about being Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It was great speaking with you. You too. Now let me in. Oh. Hello, everybody. Are you gonna let me work, or are you gonna keep bothering me? Is this trespassing? Nope. Hey, no mind to the... Uh... Yoink? A sword of Democles? Yes. Because... That's like the coolest thing I think I've heard. Oh, it's a book. Rip. Why do I have this? Who's what? the Rebecca? I'm working here. No one's even talking to you, boy. It's Friday. Wait, no, it's not Friday. Books are cool. Yeah, but not when you title it in a video game sword of Democles and then it's not an actual sword. <clears throat> you wish. Sit down. <laughs> oh, wait. Put the gun away. My goodness. Nothing beats getting Hello. Ready to relax? I'm looking for Kamiko. You people should leave her alone. What do you want with her? Your favorite book is a book? Dang, that's crazy. I have some documents for her to sign. Yeah, sure. Tell me another one. You debt collectors are low. What? Now get out of my club before I get... Uh, I'm no debt collector. I'm from the Crimson Fleet. The, the Crimson Fleet? That's right. Oh my, I, That's I'm right. sorry. I had no idea. I 
didn't That's right. do anything by it, really. <laughs> Sorry, I just... Well, I worry about her. Yeah. Really owes a lot of money just modern-day America problems, I'm you know what I'm saying? Help her out. <laughs> but, you know, I have a business to keep afloat. If you want to talk to her, you can find her in the members' lounge. You already have access, so you should know the way. Um... Don't okay. forget to ask <clears throat> to see what was the other thing? Optional is to kill her? Why does I... Every single thing that I've done so far, they're like, Oh, it's, it's an option if you want to, uh... You want to kill him? I don't want to kill him. I mean, I would, but... It says I'm not supposed to. Hello. Yeah. What do you want? I need a way into the power facility. Uh... You must be zoned out of your mind because there's no way anyone sober would say something like that. Oh, I'm in the zone. All right. Oh, see, that's not working how I thought it was. Hold the phone. Uh, it needs to be like this, then, right? Yeah. Now we're cooking. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's blackmail. Help me or this evidence of your scheme ends up on SSNN. How the hell did you find that? Why does it matter? It was Estelle Vincent, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. That bitch. I knew I should have kept that somewhere else. Here. Take this pass. Uh -huh. It should get you through the storage room, Angie, to the facility. Thank you. I'm warning you, though. Once you're inside, you're trespassing in a high security zone. That means they shoot on sight. Good luck. All right. If you get caught in Jennerdine, that's on you. Me, 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 me. You must not know who I am. Not, 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 not. Uh, pretty much area con, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Kelly. People, what is that? What? Okay. Oh, well, then I should probably wear. Um, where is it? Why do I have two of these? I will drop one. Where's the harder to notice? There it is. 25%. That's pretty good. You ever just vibing and suddenly everyone is after you for no reason at all? Uh, in game or I IRL because no. The 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 dumpy the dumpy. I'm pretty sure they went to the core of the earth. Nice. Yeah, I did mean to drop that because I had two of them. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting cores. Give me that. Give me that. We're being sussy in the vents. Caught tie on. Hey, what's up, Chris? Oh, that's a lot of people. Oh, wait.
What a banger of a song, though. Oh, what R6? Nope, they told me the elevator company would have to come out. Hmm. Uh. Which way is that person facing? Oh, good. <coughs> oh, it's a detective, but it was just a robot. See the robot. Ugh. We're venting. We're being sussy. Eat. I don't think I'm going the right way. Oh wait, maybe I am. Is there... Is there like something that you can eat or use that, that makes you quieter? Because I feel like that's the one thing I, I sort of don't like about this game compared to other like in Skyrim I would assume when you level up your stealth it just makes you really hard to hear my stealth is fully like leveled up and I feel like if I just start oh maybe not I was gonna say if I continually walk if I'll just get spotted but maybe not Wayne. Yes. If only life were like video game. Oh, what? Well, wrong button. I'm not playing with any ants. <laughs> no, I'm not playing with any mods. <laughs> How am I supposed to get past this guy? <clears throat> Also, I'm kind of upset that there's not like a, was it a pit boy or whatever it was called in Fallout where you where you're just like this continually. Like the fact that there's not something like that in the game and it's only this when you're standing still is kind of a letdown. Stealth boy, right? Yeah, not pit boy. 
Take off the mantis armor. Uh. That's been my issue this whole time. Oh my goodness, I'm so upset. Wow. I can't believe that has been the issue. Yeah. I just forget that it doesn't just unequip it when you don't actually need to wear it, you know? Open. All right, we'll just save here. How about it? So will this guy see me? Nah. Oh, there's vents. Sussy. What the? I thought homeboy was leaning on it. And you can't go anywhere. Drink with me at the Astro Lounge after work. Astro Lounge, huh? You really uh? wealthy all of a sudden? <laughs> I wish. Ooh. Based on how much Jenardine is charging customers for power, you'd think we'd be splitting in credits. Extra money ends up in the CEO's account. With what I'm making now, I can barely afford a deluxe sleep crate. You know what? Maybe I will have that. How relatable was that conversation for what's going on right now for the auto workers? <laughs> That's crazy. You know? Um, just hold on, we're going home. I, there was, there was a whole section that I did off stream. Uh, it was the Ryujin, uh, side quest where I, there was a whole stealth section and I didn't realize that it would have made it so much easier if I had just taken off my space suit. Why did I almost just get spotted there? Who's looking at me? Oh. Oh, that? No. Alright, we're good. I think. Ooh. Yoinkies. Played without you guys? Yeah, but that was like almost a month ago. <laughs> that was a good while ago.
What are my thoughts? One out of ten. Um. Maybe like uh What? Where am I? Time I tried one of their off-world specials. I had terrible stomach problems for days. What? Yes, the entire facility was well aware of this. Hmm. I think I'd give it like a 7.5. Like, surprisingly, there are better things. Will they hear me jump? Oh, no, nice. realized I don't have chameleon oh one of these gives me it right I wonder why I was getting so confused wait what no oh it's pretty but the story is Uh, the story so far from what I've done of the main story isn't anything uh, too crazy, I guess. I don't know. Like, I surprisingly had a much more fun time, I guess, with Fallout 3. Hello, Bayou. Oh, it's you. I was wondering how long it would take you to get down here. If you want the encryption cipher, you're welcome to it. I just don't want anyone getting hurt. Yeah, there has to be a catch. No, no catch. I I'm not trying to trick you. You want the cipher? I it's yours. At this point, I'd do anything to get back at my brother. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. Oh. Um Okay. I think you could safely say that most of Neon would agree. You know, I've spent my entire life living in Ben's shadow. Everything always works out for him. I, and the game is pretty, but the game still runs like trash, dude. Keeping afloat. And all the while, he laughs at me behind my back. <laughs> Thinks it's hilarious to make fun of his, his stupid brother. Like I wouldn't eventually find out. Yeah, giving me the cipher is a great way. Yeah. You know what? I am sick to death of being pushed around. Come on, PC. It's my turn to take control for once. The passcode for my terminal is GEM 41A18. And basically, cipher and whatever else you need. Uh, I'm getting out of here while I still can. Todd Howard, I you the, the director. Same. Was just basically just said like if your if your PC is not good enough, uh, get good. <laughs> That's pretty much what it was. Oh, look who's here. Yeah, he 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 literally just said like oh if you're like just get a better PC. <laughs> Cause he's like my PC can run it just fine. And like granted Robin said he had pretty good frames and stuff like that. Um and his computer's obviously better than mine, but it's not like by a ton. It's not like I'm playing on like a 1060 and he's playing on, you know, a 4080. And they call it puppy love. That's why I use the DLSS mod. 
the fact that there needs to be a DLSS mod is like a problem in and of itself, you know? Because they didn't inc include DLSS support on launch. So someone had to make a mod for it. Like what? On a 970? Ooh. Wow. For N NVIDIA, basically for NVIDIA cards. You know, the LSS. I didn't, I thought they announced like they were doing an update at some point and I guess they never got to it or it's just taking that long where it was supposed to add DLSS. That's why it almost kind of sucks when it comes to like, if you want to like game when the game comes out, like sure you get to play it first, but if you always wait like a couple months after it's like, oh, now the game's so much better than it used to be, you know? I'm playing cyberpunk. Yeah, I'm probably going to play through another playthrough of Cyberpunk, like, November, December. Is probably when I'll do that. I've heard really, I've heard really good thing. Nasty! What up? I said the next update will fix bugs and updates after that will slowly add, like... I need to start learning what what it means to develop games and update them and things like that because it just baffles me when they say things like that especially as someone who you like used to play call of duty daily it's like i it cannot be that difficult and i say that with just pure ignorance to how games are made which it probably could just be a very ignorant thing to say but whatever what up nasty how you doing this next game we playing apparently uh party animals is supposed to be pretty banging ah, there you are what kept you i believe we have a lot to discuss it's obvious you're here to meet someone fortunately for them they rented this vip room under a false name i assume that same yeah what happened with titanfall 2 clever little virus you installed into genodyne like the servers are working again i didn't realize they were down at some point but um if you know i am here then you know what's at stake all too well you know i should give credit where it's due that virus is quite exactly area con it will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's the last. Not unless your game is like Baldur's Gate. Capabilities for granted. That is like right out the gate. <laughs> you know, a banger of a game. Or even Lies of P was like from what I've played eight ish something hours of it and, and like it ran fine. So I don't know. Um. If you know I'm from the Crimson Fleet, then you know we mean business. And I'm a businessman, which means I know when to walk away from a deal. You want mm. to know why? No. It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. Arr. They don't understand commitments or contracts. How to get the deal done with finesse. No. For your kind, it's Got only brute force and, and finesse. Shoot first. Take that whatever make you want. No sense. Ask questions later. That's not how I do business. Your arrogance is astounding. That's what they tell me. Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the and virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. Um, I am not going to lie. I have no idea what is going on with this conversation. 
Um, perhaps we can come to a financial arrangement. My dear friend, you couldn't. I'm afraid you'll just have to reveal your source. The source of what? I'm going to lie and say it was his brother, I guess. Brayson. Interesting. And, hmm. Perhaps I've misjudged Brayson. No, I mean, they're already, like, I'll deal with him soon enough. gonna attack each other, I guess. So, I assume this concludes our little arrangement, and you'll be leaving our fair city. Oh, when you get back to the key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regard. I I don't know what we just did there. So Yeah. <laughs> Yo, nasty. I tried to uh The music is amazing. See if I could get in your uh in your stream the other day. I saw that you had gone live, but by the time I had gotten home and got my computer I think you already ended stream. Womp womp. But it was cool to see you on again. How's uh how sweet water in been going? Are you loving widowy every moment of it? I think that's another reason why I kind of got to wrap up this gameplay because I'm just like not focused in it anymore. Yes, what? You, try a velocity yet? Your you know what I mean? Glad you're back. Sorry about the whole Benjamin Bay you think at the Astral Lounge, but I didn't have much of a choice. Can you believe the nerve of that smug son of a bitch? Man is priceless. I handled it. So I've heard. Throwing Brayson under the bus like that. Ouch. A means to an end. It's for the Crimson Fleet, so it benefits us that all. That help you sleep at night, but doesn't do me a hell of a lot of good. Since Bayou flagged the virus, I can't risk accessing the system now. All that work I did trying to crack Jennerdine is gone. Now I'm in a bit of a bind. The prep work for this job put me in deep for a bunch of cash, and I have no way to pay it all back. How much? Yeah, let me cut in some credits. <laughs> That's exactly what I had in mind. How much? How much uh, are you willing to part with? Oh. 9K, easy. Wow, that's way more than I expected. I had no idea you'd be so generous. I got you. All right, I guess we're done here. Tell Delgado if he ever needs me for anything else. I've still got his back. And hey, you won't be hearing Rook from me anymore. Finally. As far as I'm concerned, you're one of us now. Lifeblood of the fleet. If anyone tries to tell you otherwise, you send them to talk to me. Heck yeah. Just watch your ass. Benny isn't exactly going to be tickled that you've been talking to his brother. Tickled in... Tickle, tickle. Bam, 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 bam. Seals are tight. We're docked. Docked. I gotta find a time when I'm gonna go through this, um... The Resident Evil DLC. When do we go and do that? Excuse me. But guys, whatever. I have time away from other things. Hello. All hell's breaking loose, Rook. Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible. Why? Hope it isn't bad. Oh, it's bad. Real bad. Delgado will fill you in with the details. Now get your ass to the repair bay. All right, all right, all right. Well, then quit talking. Oh, see, I got 15K out of that. Oh, wait. Did I level up? Oh, I did. Mantis. 
Oh yeah, I was with the grenade. Lul. Eye of the storm. And you are sure we will have those defense batteries up and running? No, 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 no. I'm not sure. They're in bad shape, Del. Really bad shape. Really bad. I'm already using duct tape and spit to keep the station from falling apart. You Excuse want me? to rabbit out of my hat? I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear I use the bathroom. Nice one, it's all quirky. To be fixed, period. <clears throat> Get it done. Period. All right, all right, I'm on it. You want to quit standing there and hand over the conduction grid data? Yeah, it's right here. Ah, perfect. I'll take that. <laughs> Dependable as always. Oh, that's real funny. All right, listen up because I don't want to repeat this twice. We've gotten word that UC Sysdef is massing somewhere nearby for an attack on the key. While we prepare for their arrival, I want you to head straight for Bannock 4 and bring Crix's legacy home. Uh, tell me exactly what you need me Lay to do. Up, Jess. All right, first things first. I'm going to upload this data you snagged from Jennerdyne into the Keys databanks. All you need to do is build and then install a conduction grid module onto your ship. Oh, and if you haven't already, you'll need the comp spike module installed as well. God, and they're gonna make me go into jump out the Bannock Four, board the Legacy, and bring us the cash. All right. Nothing around here is. Dell's right. You have to follow these steps carefully, or don't bother coming back. After you board the Legacy, be on the lookout for two transfer modules. They're special keys that allow access to the ship's vault. Once you locate the vault's control center, hook up the data core I'm gonna give you. And download it. Oh boy. You've got. And before you get any bright ideas like running off with yeah, yeah, yeah. only a genius like Shin. You can count on me. Yeah? Look. If that money ends up anywhere but the key. Yeah, yeah, get yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now get your ass to Bannock for it. Yeah. Brooke. Um, I can't fast travel off of here, can I? Um, I need to go to like No I'm thinking of. Here? Where in the world is there a place that has a
Where's Neon? Oh, I gotta install this. Oh wait, do I talk to her? I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this fast. Mind helping me with my shit? Not a problem. Conduction grid data is all set up in the system, so should. Oh, oh, we can do it right here. Okay. Oh. Never mind. Um. So like this. How do I pick something? Or do I... Do I upgrade it? What am I doing here, man? So put that there, I guess. Did I do it right? Cool ship, thanks. It's uh part of a certain side quest. This better be important. What? I wasn't there to talk to you, brother. I'm sorry, I just realized I might have just saying that was sort of like a spoiler. My apologies. I become the very thing I swore to destroy. <laughs> Separation complete. I literally cannot stop crying now. How will I ever sleep? Another jump down. Take that, Dad. Another jump down. up your companions because you know romance baby oh my gosh it's already eight o'clock Support ships have arrived, Commander. Good. After we're done here, arrange to like just talk to me. As soon as possible. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. There you are. I've been busy doing my job. You mean your latest excursion to Neon? I've received the reports about your little foray into Genadine. Last piece of the puzzle before you go after. Yeah, Christ's nobody legacy. died. Which means it's time to put all the cards on the table and prepare to attack the key. Um... Yeah, they're in quite the panic over there. Good. The more confusion and panic we cause, the more damage we can potentially inflict. Before you jump to Bannock 4, I need to make one thing abundantly clear. Oh, God. The from that Galbank transport cannot reach the fleet. 
You have to bring them here at all costs. If Delgado gains access to those resources, we might be touching up a battle we can't possibly win. We've been monitoring the Crimson And while it would be fun to system, do that, I don't think I'm actually going to do that. Making promises based on your success. As much as I hate to admit it, you see Sis death won't stand a chance. The fleet will become stronger and more unified than ever. All right, I'm not going to let you You're down. You're doing it for me. You're doing it for the security of the settled systems. All right, I guess this is it. When you return here with Crix's legacy, we'll... All right. All my hopes go with you. Yep. All right, looks like we're getting to the end of the side quest, though, which is... Nice. <laughs> I need to start, like, fully turning around and coughing. Last night, I literally think I, like, pulled a muscle in my neck from, like, burning and coughing. Didn't even know it was possible. But it hurt. Holy, that's far. Training mission. I stand by it. You'd make but uh commands shipping us off to parts on the but would you accept the final parting gift? Oh absolutely. Uh I'm not one to turn down a free Who gift. Knows, right? A lot of good people owe you their lives. Maybe one day some of us can return the favor. Young out. A cutlass. Thanks for nothing. Oops, wrong button. So now we just need to go to this one. And I get it because then like the point of this is to be like, oh, let's explore over here and whatnot this is Faraday's budget oh doors. my god i have a request from people on the ship to talk with an actual ship captain you i'm uh well surprise your return can i ask the first question i'm still talking with the captain are you sure you're up for this this is it um actually i'm afraid i have to you go have the captain every sorry about that Yep, see ya. Yeah, I think it was sort of a little bit of a letdown for a lot of people. But also... Um... I kind of don't know what else I was expecting. Because there's no way they were going to deliver on like a No Man's Sky type of experience as well as a Bethesda experience. Like I just don't, I don't see that happening. Okay, yeah, sure. Good thinking. I'm sure it's been a pleasure doing business with you. 
You too, pal. I guess. Yeah, I thought it would have been cool to at least fly your ship around the planet. Uh oh. Really, the ship? Wow. Frames are really nice on the ship. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely things they, they could have done to make the experience a little bit better. noise was him alive coming alive hmm. loading screens for a shop I thought it was going to blow up. Lol. How do I get in there? Um. Enemies? Robots? Another one somewhere. What? Holy.
So probably if I just do this, I can escape it. Or uh, not escape it. Skip it all. This one's made just for the inside here, which is probably this, which I need that. So then these two are for this. Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. Wait, how? Oh, yeah, it does. Oops. Oh, God. Whoa, hello. Look at this system. Oh, my God, wrecked. Throw the nade, please. I'm dead. Ow. That's not. No, I'm trying to reload. Game. Ow. Lung damage? Because he punched me? What does best against the uh, robos? Oh. Lung damage. I've been healed. Yoink. This leading me to the same place anyways. Oh, was that red? Aha! Beginning combat program. <laughs> Owned. Riggedy riggedy wrecked. Oh boy. Against aliens. Sure. Stupid camera. a big ship. That's it? Oh. 
fine. Do I need to get in here? Oh, it's the control room. It would probably be in my best interest, but... Where they were uh, when they're all gonna be messed up by aliens. That's all credits. me I don't even get to like check a little bit of it the frames in here are awful oh my goodness ow did you just punch me turd Damage. All systems. oh wrong uh right Can you turn your flashlight on? Yeah, my flashlight's not turning on. They broke it. Correct. What? Empty slot? Am I out of heels? Oh my god, I'm out of heals. I must have not been picking up med packs. That's funny. Wow. Okay. Sure. Oh god! Well now I gotta play a little more safe, huh? What the heck? med packs um He's conveniently the only one that's like the only body that oh Yo this thing go crazy Crew 
recording initiated. Son of a bitch! Nothing. Complete waste of time. I've tried everything I can possibly think of, and I end up right where I started. Oh, here, I thought I was so clever. Thought I had it all figured out. I really don't have to turn that on? First, fix my ship and get the prototype shielding back online. Second, shunt the power from the cred tank array back to the system to drain the credits. Work in a third, haul ass back to my ship before the EM field rips apart the legacy. Three easy steps, right? Only problem is, I'm stuck at step one. Every system on my ship is dead, and there's nothing aboard this ship to use for repairs. I can't believe I came all this way just to end up stuck here like the poor bastards who ran this ship. <sighs> Actually. So now I do have to do it? Oh, okay. Isa. Isa will figure it out. I told her where I was going for a reason. She's smart. She'll, she'll know something's up when I miss the rendezvous. After all, we're supposed to split the loot. Getting currency transfer. All I have to do is sit tight and wait till she That's crazy. Out something's gone wrong. Then she'll come here looking for me. <laughs> In the meantime, I should uh, start rationing my food. <laughs> I could be waiting for a while. Crew recording. Term external communication detected. Automated recording system activated. Legacy. Come in. This is Issa Milan. Are you there, Legacy? Holy shit. Isa, is that you? Isa, I I'm here. I yes, I can read you. Jasper Cruz. Still alive? Always were one tough son of a bitch. Yeah. I'm alive. No thanks to you. A month? Really? You left me to sit here and panic for a month. We said you'd wait a week. Top. Wait a moment, I, I think broadcasting... Wait, can you, like, stop? External communication detect... Multiple hull breaches detected. Structural integrity failing. Immediate evacuation recommended. Escape the legacy. Holy frames, Batman. Uh, yikes. Time to go. Oh, now my flashlight wants to work. Now. Double O. Double O seven. <laughs> oh no, I can't die right now, dude. I have no heals. Oh my God, fly over everything. Game. Open the door. I mean, surely I have something on me that gives me health, right? awkward I guess we'll do that and like re reduce how much damage I take expert no 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 oh my god wait is that what I have to do oh no right here I didn't see that this is not good Oh my god, that was a robot. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Lung damage? Oh my gosh. Uh, 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 um. Which one's lung?
I have a cough now? Oh, this is getting too dank. Oh, here we go, baby. Yo. Oh my God. No. What is happening? Am I gonna die? Do I have no heals? Long damage again. Oh my god, get me out of here. Holy. Wait, what? Your choice of jump destination will determine your final allegiance. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh. Cool. Operation complete. Thrust is free. Yes. <clears throat> oh no. Damn it. They're hitting us hard, sir. Take Wait. Those ships. How did they know? Uh, okay, I have a cough. Oh, completely drains my O2. Wait, I don't have lung damage again. I just... Oh, no. Hold on, let me find heals, please. On you, brother. We got good heals anywhere. Heals on the walls. The fleet have done a lot of harm. The heals on the walls go. Server room, nah. I can't believe I ran out of med packs. The fleet started. Whatever. Is that it? Is that Chris's legacy? Ensign, take this and enter it into the data core. I'm on it, sir. You see, Lieutenant? I told you he wouldn't let us down. Yeah. I have to admit, I'm impressed. Encrypted or not, that's quite a lot of money to be carrying around. You the think? The temptation must have been excruciating. Um, yeah, I just wanted to get it off my hands. I totally understand. I can assure you that we'll take full responsibility for Crix's legacy from here on out. Okay. Now, on to other more pressing matters. We've received confirmation that the fleet ships were scouts sent to probe our defenses. Unfortunately, one of them grabbed, jumped away before you arrived. Which means that Delgado will have the Crimson Fleet prepping defenses of its own. Let's hit him where it hurts. That's the plan. Lieutenant? If you wouldn't mind explaining our strategy. 
Yes, sir. The Vigilance is equipped with the latest in hyper-resistant shielding, making it the only ship that can safely... The catch is that the key has access to three orbital defensive batteries that can fire electromagnetic energy. One hit, and we lose those fancy shields. Um, I've, I really like the Ryujin. Is that in technically fact, a faction? I'll be personally leading the assault on Battery Alpha. I like the Ryujin side missions. That, those were fun. Sadly, we didn't get as much support for this mission as I would have liked. There just wasn't enough evidence. We weren't able to convince Mass to Oh, just not enough rocket. evidence? Oof. I, feel like they've committed I forgot to turn some in, I think. That means we'll have to take... It's unfortunate, yes. We've also given you a call sign, Renegade, to help coordinate our move. Once those batteries are destroyed, you board the key and bring Delgado to justice. You won't come quietly. You do what you have to do. Finally. Uh, that sounds like a one-way ticket to me. I don't send my people on suicide missions. Well, this is it. But stealth is so wonky planet, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, well, I just learned that... All my hopes and my best wishes go with you. Uh, you have to take your spacesuit off for, like, your stealth to work the best. The station is on high alert ever since... And I totally forgot to do that when I was doing the... The Ryujin... I need to go like Let's put an end to this pirate scum. Can I at least Can I go to the lodge real quick? Not even the lodge, just uh here. No. Wow. I have no heals. Wow. That's a clean break. Ready to go. Now maybe it'll let us. Oh yeah, I should go here. Where is this? I forget where the Free Star Collective is. I used to be an actuary. Now look at me. Uh. Yeah. Wait. Where is? All the free star collective stuff. What planet is that on? Her system, I should say. That's in Cheyenne. Aquila. No, Aquila system or city is something different, isn't it? Oh, wait, no. Is it Aquila system? Is it? Yeah, I could be wrong. You might be right. I thought this was like the mining area. Oh no, yeah, no, this is exactly where I wanted. Heck yeah. Word to the wise. Uh, where is it?
It's where I've left all this stuff. I just need to remember where it is now. They fixed it? No. I'll take a look around. It's a good bet. Well, I'll. Restores two health. Far, far away. <laughs> mm. You got stuff back here. Maybe you're holding out on me. I want to do your business quick. Rangers plan on dropping by. Um. Well, good thing I got like a good amount of stuff. From that place before they patched it, I guess. I'm sure I got one. Okay, you have no med kits. Um, what place would just have like a ton of med kits? Wasting time. It's looking at me. more than one Roger yeah so this is obviously like the last little bit of Like the main mission oops of this i'm just gonna do this so i can just get it over with quickly man over here Uh, is there an echo? 
I would like to find the battery, please. And I can't see. There it is. Hey, do they have their grab drive? Enemy shields are gone. Nail their grab drive. Hey, did you nail, nail their drive. did you enemy spiders one grab drive? Oh, I think Target's grab drive is down. Shields are in the gun. That was a great shot at the grab drive. Are you guys get to join the no shield? Yes. Yes, you weren't needed. Enemy spiders one grab drive. Nail their grab drive. Yo, he just keeps saying it. One more. Focus ready. Holy frames. Enemy grab drive out. Out of my way. Are you done with this? Rolja. Oh, that's right. Now we got to go there. Oof. child okay he zipped away didn't want to fight guess I'll just aim at whatever's closest am I like missing a button or it's just not there we go oh it's the jade swan bye jade swan yay Oh, 
Ah. Oh my god, Sam, shut up. What do I gotta do to get close enough to- oh. So much on screen right now. Thing that I won't. Board the key? Where is the key? Oh, right there. Good luck. All right. Boom, ba, 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 boom. And we're docked. Reload the big boy. Oh, I don't have heals. This is gonna be. This is gonna be interesting. Hello. Dude, this weapon is insane. Sorry, Jasmine. Oh, maybe you have a med pack on you. I'm sorry. Anybody? Level two. Lol. Hello. I can't believe I'm not picking up med kits though, or med packs as I'm coming across them. That's what surprises me the most. Open the door. Kind of messed up. We can still fend them off. Just keep shooting. I feel dirty. I guess all because I've been finding is trauma packs and not med packs. What happened to the trade authority guy? Oh. He might have something good. This will work for this ring somehow, maybe, and then it'll use this one. 
these the same? No. So this one's for this ring. Right? Yeah. Only 600 credits. Better than none, I suppose. Hey, another med pack. What is this place? Essentials. The last, oh, this is the bar. Oh, there's gonna be a ton of them in here. We gotta come in here and whoop all of them. That's kind of messed up. I didn't think that far ahead. All right, we'll see you later, Grim. Thanks a lot for hanging out. I appreciate you. See you soon. More rats. This crew is cursed. <laughs> yeah. talking about oh, your bomb's gonna explode and re -encode thousands of credits in seconds but something as simple as this I didn't see it coming not in the slightest and now because of you my bomb's been activated oof which means I'm as good as dead um why did your bomb activate? Now that Sistef is here, the Crimson Fleet can't afford to have everything I know fall into the wrong hands. Let's save the you. The moment the vigilance arrived, Delgado pushed the button, which is as good as putting a gun to my head and pulling the trigger. Uh, I'm sorry. It's come down to this. Forgive me if I don't take you at your word, since you've been lying to me from the very beginning. Fair enough. I've paid you well. Treated you with respect. Look me in the eye and tell me why you've allowed this to happen to me. You owe me that much. To you? You have a. B what? I couldn't exactly tell you I worked for Sistev ahead of time. No, but had you given me warning, I could have started researching a way to escape this place. Well, now that you're here. I don't expect that you'll stay and watch my rather spectacular ending. So why don't you? I'll do whatever it takes to deactivate After it. After everything I just said, you'd still be willing to help me. Yes, I would. I must be a complete fool. Because even though it makes no sense, I believe you. The only way to deactivate the bomb is through Delgado's computer and operations. You'll probably need his ID to get in. I don't know why you're helping me. It's not a trick. No, I actually want to help this dude. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Open the door. Open the door.
I guess I'll... Take this. Hi. Oh, I forgot. No wonder why I'm going through everybody so fast. I forgot to put my difficulty back up. <laughs> After the space stuff. That makes so much more sense. Holy. I was wondering what was going on. Whoops. Starview access pass. Can't end like Oops. This. Well, I'm sorry to say it just did. Any heals? I. Whoa. Probably gonna be a pretty vital part. Where is the bathroom? to finish the job personally yo what up my way i've returned to try to talk some sense talk into you sense into me you're the one who's lost their mind what the hell happened to you you had Grix's legacy in your hands uh -huh. and you gave it away uh-huh for what for honor yep Justice? Justice. Um, I just want to do the right thing. Yeah? And why the hell does Sistef get to determine what is right and what is wrong? It's going pretty you know, good. When we were on sewer, this side quest was taking me I way longer than I thought it was going to. For you to become a badass pirate. And now you suddenly expect me to believe I have been fooled the entire time? For once in your life, be honest with me. Admit that you were tempted. Oh, of course. Well, at least it is obvious that no matter what I say, you have no intention of honoring our pact. No. I have already locked down the key and set its reactors to overload. Soon, you, me, 
and everyone near this station are going to be vaporized. Let's Oof. see how far that loyalty to Sistef takes you now. Ooh, persuade. And spend the rest of my life in the brig without a credit to my name? Why would I do that? Oh, auto persuade? Easy. Now that's more like it, Rook. You're a killer. Wait, what? And I suppose you want me to think it ends outside a prison cell and not. As is every member of the fleet. And if I give them all one more day, maybe we make it out of this. Fine. You win. Yay. Standing down the reactors. With the legacy gone, we're dead in the water anyway. But before you have Ikan to lock me up, I'm going to leave you with some parting words. Whether you know it or not, you're damn good at being a pirate. Thanks. It's one of these days, that's all going to hit you. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. I need to deactivate the bomb. I need your ID. Go. You've taken everything else from me. The least you can do is give me a moment of peace. Uh. Uh. Yay! We're saving everybody. No. Ooh. Snickerdoodle included. Oh, there's a master lock. Okay, I have to know what's behind it. Even though these take so long to do. I need to know. Uh, okay. Let's not waste an auto slot on this one because I'm pretty sure if it's not this three one, then it's going to be mm, this and this. Now we auto slot. Um, maybe that's for And a single, and then so. Yeah. Uh, how did, how'd games go, Maui? Oh. Access to his room. It's plated in gold. That was it though? Ooh. All right. We took some lives, but we also saved some. Oh. Yes. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, absolutely. I was uh, happy to see you were actually on before I started stream, which was nice. Yes. Okay, hello. All right. We're on last. Free and clear. Where am I going now? Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Return to the... Oh, is it like right over here? Oh yeah, it's right there. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Seals are good, air pressure good. And we're docked. Yeah, Fortnite seems like a real vibe most oh, most of the time. Line, kid. You were in your wings today. Thank you, sir. I was just trying to do my part. Like if I were to play Battle Royale casually, I feel like that'd be the most one the, the one that's most fun to play. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have permission to speak freely. 
I believe congratulations are in order. But as much as I'd like to begin this celebration, technically we're still in the process of wrapping up the operation. Oh boy. On that note, Lieutenant, what do you have for me? Reports are coming in right now, Commander. Delgado and Shinya Voss have been taken into custody. Also, we've transferred personnel to the key to secure the location. But what happened to the, the one chick to do with the station? That ended up killing her and I didn't know. Oh yeah, her. According to our reports, Neva led the strike force that attacked the vigilance. Unfortunately, that was the last we saw of her. It looks like she managed Ooh. to escape. We don't know her current whereabouts, but I have our operations team looking into it. That's Interesting. Fine. Overall, excellent news, Lieutenant. I have to admit, for the first time in seven years, for the I first don't know what to time say. in seven about years. You. I know that was difficult. You hanging in there? I'm proud that I did the right thing. You should be. What you've done to serve the UC in this short amount of time is more than most people could hope to do in their entire lives. Cool. If Mast isn't already printing up a batch of recruitment posters with your face on them, they should be. I've twisted arms and cashed in some favors at Mast. I wanted <laughs> to make sure you got a share of the money you recovered from the legacy. Oh, really? Call it a reward, a token of appreciation. How much, though? Thank you. Don't thank me yet. If it had been completely up to me, you'd get a lot more than they're giving you. Oh. Now that you're rich and famous, it better be more than 10k. Huh? Decorum, Lieutenant. Damn, I'm going to be really, really become an important part. Although, if you feel like staying aboard, I'm sure I could give you. A that is, if. Uh, I need a little time to think about it. No rush. If you change your mind. Anyway, enough talk. You've earned a break. Wherever you might find yourself. Commander, seems happier. We have you to thank for that. Oh, it was two hundred and fifty thousand. Doubts about you, but not anymore. Very nice. Yeah, that's some big money. All right, we're gonna do this. Oh, of course, I can't. I forget it. You can't fast travel off of this ship. Hi. Free. All right. I don't know exactly how much more of the main story I have, but we'll find out. Oh, look who's back for pets. Boop, 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 boop. Can't even see your head. On your ear. Yeah, I gotta figure out a better place place this cam. Good dog. Yes, exactly. It's like Keeper Aquilus. Can we have a moment? Oh, Mateo, it's been too long. No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. Peanut hot dog levels? But, Keeper, I didn't come to catch up. Oh. Well, what's on both your minds? We need to talk about unity. Oh, yeah. How humanity comes together. Uh, how we are to love each other, even as our universe becomes even more complex. That's not exactly what we mean. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well, 
This person's staring at me. Anything else? Something secret? Perhaps you should talk about this inside. Okay. Well, this place is dank. Huh, now that we have a little privacy, why don't you tell me exactly <coughs> what it is that brought you to here? Uh, it started with the discovery of these anomalies, the artifacts. They're like nothing we've ever seen, Keeper. Gravitational distortion, sub-audio harmonic sequencing, unidentifiable energy fluctuations. Uh, I caught half of that. So, these things are unusual? Even in your experience? There have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding. <laughs> you think so? Universe. Beyond rational thought. We enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet the risk is made anyway. So you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. Uh, I don't need a lecture. I need answers. And I think I can help. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, I can give you a path to discovering its meaning. There's an old story far older than the sanctum universum of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it this pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity i always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together but maybe it's more maybe yeah i need facts not bedtime fairy tales i understand you have doubts in my story the pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun. And he gave them each a part of the truth. Then he goes to his oh. final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum. His addition or contribution to the infinite. But... What if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code, a way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave? An odd saying, very specific. Yes, something must be there. Maybe the answer will become clear when we have more. The House of Enlightenment and Varun have versions of this story. Uh, okay. The enlightened work out of the well here in New Atlantis. The rune worshippers are more enigmatic. But there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I visited her a couple of times. Hopefully, she'll be willing to talk to you as well. Yes. I'll stay here with the keeper. Hopefully. We need to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions. Roger that. Uh, which one's closer? I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, well, there's two. Down below? Official United Colonies business can access the building. Oh. <gasps> Medical. 
No, I'm not feeling that bad. We have an appointment. We're seeing the doctor. We what? offer only the best. Welcome to. Well, you've certainly come. How much do you have? Only four? May you remain in. Oops. Good help. Yeah, this place is busting with the frames. Very nice. If only the whole game played that way. This is gonna take me like all the way where? Oh. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Yes, but when I can have it, it's a shame that we don't. I've got. We're doing the best we can. We're no reliant medic. I'm a little spoiled, okay? Yo, this part of town is looking rough. No. Yes. You and a lot of other people. And me. If it's about the financial or food assistance program. Oh, you're not. Uh, I need to talk about the pilgrim. Listen, I've talked about this with him a ton of times, and there's no record of a unity pilgrim, but our early records are mostly administrative. Humanitarian projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges. I am indeed people. In a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. Um, let's hear it. A man walks into the first house. It's pretty America. great, right? The founding members just call him the drifter. So they think he's a charity case at first, but no, the drifter asks them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? That the second person walking up the stairs was terrifying. Isn't the problem of two, what you're really looking for. And the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward. And it kind of goes on like that. He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation. I miss him. No. This, the problem of do that. Uh, maybe there's a message hidden. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. Oof. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. All right, thank you. Always happy to help. If you'll excuse So anything that kind of stinks about taking such a long break on the... Main quest is I'm... Uh, a little confused on what's going on. Or I guess what I'm working towards right now. company I need who is this 
I know you've talked to keep her a Achilles about the Varun faith. He knows not the truth. He sends another to ask more incessant questions. The great serpent waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe. That is the truth. I admire your conviction. The knowledge of the great serpent sweeps away all concern. There is only his inevitable return and those he will spare. Nothing else. You wish to speak of the Keeper's Pilgrim, do you not? I will tell you of him, and then you will leave. Jinan Varun meets the Unbeliever. He gives false prophecies to Jinan. Because, like, I'm listening to them, and I don't even know why I'm learning this information. In why do I care? He does not hesitate. He cuts the Unbeliever down. But the Unbeliever returns. Remember the... That is all. Thanks. Then we are done. I'm just getting too impatient at this point as well. <laughs> uh. any other oh, I do that's basic this one's skip balanced what does skip capacity do This is kind of nice. Could stay in the air longer. Hmm. Which gun type? Uh, the old hunting rifle, old earth hunting rifle. I've really enjoyed using this gun. Uh, if not that. I had this, but I didn't use it. I didn't use like a, a ton of crazy different weapons every now and then, but, but this one's all reliable. I like that one. Okay. Once again, I have no idea what we're going to. Well, you're back. Um, the line story tend to use the word second and two. Hmm. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. What else did you learn? That's it. If there really is a location the pilgrim wanted us to find, those do sound awfully like coordinates. Was there anything else? Yes. What he added to infinity. And beyond. Maybe points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Infinitum addendum. Uh, I think I have everything I need oh. now. You figured it out then. Well. Before you go, you've now <clears throat> spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but... Oh, God. Um... It's just a word, and I need to take responsibility for finding it, not pray. And once you know, 
what will you do? Even the most objective scientist holds the belief that observation itself will be of benefit to humanity. You will be taking a similar part of yourself with you when you find the answer. Yeah, it doesn't give me a license to define it beforehand. So you're committed to keeping yourself from seeing unity as anything other than a rational objective. A goal you're bound to reach. Yes. Well, I won't keep you. All right, goodbye. Pilgrim's Rest. Brick going crazy it's been a while. Toes, dog. It's been a while since we've been on Magic a new planet. Oh, it was real dark for a second. Hi, Brooklyn. I... Right. I just finally finished the the side quest that I was doing for a while. So now I'm focusing on the main story. How much of the main story I have left, I'm not entirely sure. But hopefully What the heck? Oh. Ow. Contusion? Hopefully not a really long time. Laser pistol. Oh. I need to put some stuff in my ship. For? Oh. You got me messed up. See, Brett, here, here, here is an example of time I don't have, so I'm going to look it up. the correct answer is I might never increasingly though I'm comfortable with not knowing the more I reflect on being here in this world in this time the more I think it is precisely where I need to be this time will be different it won't be about me so I won't have to run I can actually build something with intent instead of scrambling to fix something that others create in my name it can be something beneficial I can be something beneficial I'm leaving behind that other person. This world has no place for him. Let him die. Let me live to enlighten the bless, bless, blessed universe before me. You found the end of my journey. 
Uh, but to know everything, you must find its beginning. On Hyla 2, the island hides... Excuse me, the scorpion. And the scorpion sting hides the truth. Whatever the heck that means, brother. Oh, I never turned in that evidence. Whoops. Blast off. Ancient ruins. <clears throat> Captain, landing procedure initiated. Thank you. I put stuff in my ship inventory right now. Yay. Let's just start storing all the stuff I'm not using. When the heck did we get this? Whatever this is, what the heck? is the heaviest. See what this weapon is though now. This thing is crazy. Skadish. Wait, what? What sense does that make? It shoots two. Oh. Okay. This thing's the, the way to do it. Hurting tongue face grazer. Why, yes. Are you guys nice? Friends. Right? No! Yeah, that's what I thought. They asked for it. Oh, the gravity is heavy here. We. Friendly alien? Oh, you're lucky. 
I was about to light you up like crazy. Oh, they're all here. Creepy. Did it? That was a uh, complete chance. Huh? I'm ready for this cough to be done with. I don't think uh, lifesavers, hard candy is gonna help, but it is tasty. Oops. Homeboy sent me to find the true meaning of unity. He did. Now it's all starting to make sense. You should come aboard. There's another starborn here who is very interested in meeting you. Huh? I can speak for myself. Oh. Constellation ship, you weren't invited to this meeting, but much of our conversation has been about you. It's only fitting you should join us. True. I will personally guarantee your safety as long as you come in peace. And think of it as a ceasefire meeting. Your one shot at getting those answers you must desperately want. Okay. Good. I'm curious. Hey, level up. Even as advanced as the ship is, it still has a docking port. Docking procedure is complete. Yes. Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. All I ever wanted to do was attack or talk. You attacked us. Yes, we did. We are not a monolithic people. The starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause, others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The emissary threatened your ship, 
demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. Oh. Yeah, you're talking in circles. I came to learn about the unity. Yes. A unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. You've really come a long way since the Welcome to Constellation speech, haven't you? What? I'm not who you think I am. This universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the hunter. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts. And they opened the way to the center of my universe and the doorway to an infinite number of others that is the unity when i stepped into it oh my gosh I we just got bioshock infinite how i've entered other worlds including yours what i need to see this for myself and that's the problem what all the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide... Oh god, am I gonna have to pick a side? I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? Oh. Yeah. Some other version of the same person. You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks. To give up. To appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who's seen everything done. You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. Oh, God. Yeah, whatever war is going on between you two, I don't want any part in it. You're already in it. Ooh. With artifacts, come Starborn searching for them, fighting over them. I want a truce. Between all three of us, give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine, or the Hunter's. Yes, let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. Um... I'm sure you have more questions. The Emissary and oh. their kind only want to control you. Alright, what is unity to you? Why, why kill for it? Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. 
One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. And I've won. Over and over. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. Which involves killing. And why do you attack us? I've simply found that it's the quickest way. Talking, forming alliances, waiting for the right moment to commit theft. It's all so tiresome. Okay. I'll admit you getting away has been the most interesting thing to happen in quite some time. As soon as I realized what had happened, I knew I needed to wait until this meeting with the emissary to decide what to do about you. Um... Yeah, after you attack the lodge, you let me go. Why? To see what would happen, of course. You might not understand just how many times I've done this. Usually, you're the one who ends up dead, and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the emissary. Sometimes I manage to get you all bunched up and take care of the problem in one go. And sometimes the emissary has gotten to me first, and I never arrive. Hmm. Hundreds and hundreds of variations of me, packing through Constellation. And it's almost never you. I took it as a sign. I'll tell you everything I can. What happens when you enter the Unity? It's not an easy experience to describe, but the Unity will speak to you. Offer you the chance to become Starborn. Mm. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion? Or is it testing us? Uh, so you try to protect the artifacts? Keep them from being abused? You've seen the terror the hunter causes. Every time a Starborn goes through the Unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. True. Am I, like, supposed to make my mind up? I want one. Aww. Before you leave, I want to give you something. A way to another artifact. But also, a lesson in how dangerous they can be. Seek the moon of old earth. Oh. There are secrets there you must discover for yourself. Here. To open the way. Okay. And I am sorry we have not always been... I hope you... You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. Thank you. Complete in their footsteps. Well, that's kind of cool. Clamps release. We're free. Yeah, let's go do this one. Landing site's clear. All green here. Um, 
from this way. Oh, we zoom in. Is that supposed to be Earth? So you only get the key from her. Anybody whom? I just want to remind the research team that uh, Voltaire is a highly proprietary supercomputer that is currently being contra uh, contracted exclusively for the use in Project Prism. It is not meant for your own personal projects. This is amusing to see just how many decimal points of pi it can calculate, how many bits of blah 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 blah. Um, play the recording on the roof? Why? Science crate master. <clears throat> um, done this wrong no maybe not There's no roof access. <gasps> Med pack? Let's go. sequence from Voltaire? No changes since we uploaded the last figures yesterday. It's a clean shot from here to Jupiter. One day the computer will be on board the spaceship. Just imagine that. One miracle of science at a time, Canaveral. Counting down. Five, four, three, two, one. Indicators look good. 
The ship should be cruising Jupiter's orbit right now. Visual confirmation will be possible in... <laughs> 32 minutes. Afraid the speed of light is on the slow side these days. <laughs> How does it feel to break the laws of physics, Canaveral? We're all pretty excited down here in NASA, I won't lie. Excited enough to tell me where you got the original data? Not in a million years, Nova. Go to NASA. What? What does that mean? Let me just go to NASA. Oh. Okay. Oh. Imagine though, if you actually like during daytime, you could actually see the sky like this. That'd be kind of crazy. Well, oh. This is kind of cool. I think. NASA doing NASA things. I love to see it. Emergency power cell. Where do I put it? Oh. Go. Oh man. Med pack, yoink. I'll take another one just in case. Parkour my way all the way to the top. Is that what's happening? Oh, all the way to the lift. Oops. Um. What? Oh God. No human bodies, no, uh... No bones and no nothing. Man. Enter NASA. 
power required. Was the launch facility underground? I'm confused where this is taking me. Ooh, this place is nice for frames. I'm a happy camper. Yeah, I know, game. Remember, the fin final vitals and suit seal checks are essential. Yes, we've come a long way as far as tolerances. Yes, the number of people cleared for launch is much higher than it used to be, but these people's lives are still in our hands. And there's rumors that the next launch is slated to be canceled. Let's not have that be on us. Assume it's go time every time. Your professionalism is what makes space travel just a little bit safer. And we can use every ounce we can get. Judith Tatian. The recent delivery from Mars is unsettling. I was expecting rock samples or maybe fossils of microbial life. Instead, Dr. Victor Isa comes with two members of the military. Everything they've brought back is under wraps. What could a theoretical physicist need with a sample from Mars? Station log. Dr. Judith Tatian. I have been trying to cozy up to Dr. Isa. Victor, to see what is going on. His team has completely commandeered one of the labs with those two military hand refs, checking who comes in and out. I joked that maybe he found a little gray man who was doing an autopsy, and he grew very pale. Two days later, he sends me a request asking for more information on my background in material science, metallurgical engineering. Oh, we have a meeting tomorrow. I... I think I'm being invited into the lab. What up, Isaac? Station log. Dr. Judith Latin. I have never been so nervous since I defended my dissertation. Four hours talking to Victor and his team about theoretical metals, atomic bonding, even a half hour divergence into magnetism that I'm pretty sure was just to throw me off the trail of what we were actually talking about. Then I got to see the lab. I don't know how much I should say, but the periodic table just got thrown out the window. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be a year on any of the stuff, though, that I'm reading. I'm curious. Are you? This is kind of cool. From 1971 to 1972, the Lunar Rover was used for the last Apollo missions that can carry two astronauts. The Chevron tread patterns on the wheels were made from titanium to help maintain traction on the moon's surface. The rover was also fully electric and ran on batteries whose power was intended to last for the duration of the mission. Mercury suit. Adapted from a design originally intended for high altitude aircraft, the Mercury spacesuit 
would undergo several modifications to deal with pressure, oxygen, and thermal considerations. Even though the cabin of the Mercury spacecraft itself protected against the rigors of space travel, redundancy has always been key. In the event that the cabin were to depressurize and expose astronauts to the vacuum of space, the Mercury spacesuits would be able to offer a critical extra layer of defense. Project Mercury. From 1958 to 1963, one of humanity's first human space flight programs, Mercury spacecraft was designed to fit a single person who would be sent to test a person's ability to function in space. Six flights in total were launched, the earliest being a 15-minute suborbital flight and the longest being over 34 hours and 22 complete orbits. Project Apollo from 1968 to 1972, Project Apollo was the first successful program to put humanity on Earth's moon. The first moon landing that occurred on July 20th, 1969, was actually Apollo's 11th flight, with all previous launches testing all the modules, orbits, and other critical data needed to ensure the astronauts could reach the moon and return safely. Oh, we can have the Mercury suit. Nice. Project Gemini. From 1965 to 1966, in many ways, Project Gemini was a learning mission. While NASA's ultimate goal was to put a human being on the moon, many questions had to be answered before that project, Apollo, could even begin. Gemini was tasked with answering how a person could survive in space over many days, how to connect spacecraft together, and how to improve space, space suit technology uh, to operate outside of spacecraft. I'm liking this little uh, history lesson. Oh yeah, what's this? Oh. I'm skipping ahead. No. Oh, you can look for the rover. Oh my gosh. The Mars rover or the Mars exploration rover program launched in 2003 and allowed for the remote exploration and study of Mars. Two twin rovers were made nicknamed Spirit and Opportunity. While Spirit ceased communication functions in 2010, the Opportunity rover continued operations well into 2018, exceeding its initial planned time by over 14 years. Oh, you can go find that? Hmm. Maybe I do want to read this one then. In 2150, scientists first predicted the, de the destruction of our beloved Earth. Atmospheric phenomena would cause breathable air to sputter outside of Earth's gravity, dooming all life that remained. An estimated 50 years until the end has given NASA and other space agencies around the world the opportunity to migrate humanity away from certain death and into the stars. Thanks in part to the development of the grav drive, humanity will live on. Wow. From the Apollo 11 mission, the lunar module Eagle was the first crewed spacecraft to touch down on Earth's moon. Eagle's counterpart was the, the command module Columbia which the lunar mod module needed to both s separate from and eventually reattach to, Columbia would take astronauts to and from the orbit of the moon, while Eagle would bring them to and from the surface. Oh, hey, is this that one ship that we... that we ran into? NASA part 
partnered with Nova Galactic, the creators of the uh, Volt Voltaire supercomputer, on an ambitious aerospace project to pull gravity itself. The result is the first successful spacecraft capable of faster than light travel. The first successful voyage saw astronauts reaching Jupiter in moments, what would have previously taken years. Interesting. While long-term missions in space began in the late 1990s with programs such as the International Space Station, humanity began living on other planets almost 100 years later. Small outposts of five or fewer scientific research teams eventually gave way to entire colony effort on Mars and other orbiting bodies of our solar system. Oh, it actually opens. This is cool. I like this. I didn't know we were going to get all, uh, NASA fied. Hmm. The frames are so good in here. What is it looking like? Like it is smooth. That's why it's over 60. <laughs> for something specific here? Ah. Hmm. How do... do how? Intrigued. Maybe it's over this way. Expert? Uh, I don't really care what's in there.
There's gonna somehow be an artifact down here. We're going really underground at this point. How you get in that room? These are some vintage uh, computers. Yeah, because she said that it looks like the periodic table has been thrown out the window. NASA had space robots. Ow. I mean, of course, NASA had space robots. Why wouldn't they? Anything's in there. Anything good? Hmm. Don't care enough. Oh. Well, maybe I have to. Lul. Wait, what? Okay, maybe it is in here. But what if you don't know how to do advanced locks? Turret control? Yeah. Too late for that. I wonder what have what would have made this all collapse like this though. Absolutely no phones or recording devices. Project log. Dr. Victor Isaac. 
Lisa. We turned on the prototype today. The gravitational field around it began to fold as we long suspected. Complete reversal of gravitational pull was observed on dozens of loose objects around the lab. Oh, so maybe it is an artifact. with the directors to propose a larger test. The prototype proves we don't need the original anymore. But further work is going to have to take place oh, in space. Oh, no, this is, uh... Abundant helium-3 and... Grav drive. ...a partner. Someone with access to large-scale manufacturing resources and computational equipment. Engineering... Oh, 2138. ...pulling the far side of the solar system closer to us. It's all going to be possible. A couple years later. Project log. Dr. Judith Petian. I watched the Gravjet test from the moon today. It was the first time we were able to talk to the team at Nova Galactic directly. So many things were under wraps before, but now everyone wants all the publicity they can get. I'm already seeing proposals for manufacturing androids of drives, expeditions to Alpha Centauri and beyond. It's also overwhelming and worrying. It could take years. Decades before we know what all these side effects of operating a grab drive can be, but no one wants to hear that right now. Like a bunch of pioneers racing towards the edges of the frontier without knowing about the grizzly bears in the mountains. Hmm. Okay. Oh. We just entered zero grav. Interesting. The first body. Oh, it's Victor. No. Please be careful whenever running power through the prototype. Secure all loose objects and have researchers empty pockets removed early. Um, yeah. Oh God. I never actually got to visit your labs back when we were working on the grab drive projects. Seems like ancient history now. Only thing we're doing these days is launching weather satellites. Guess this is as good a retirement as any. Now Project Demeter. You want our help manufacturing scanners to better track these new meteorological patterns we're seeing. Our guess is that the poles might be naturally shifting, causing some gravitational fluctuations that are throwing off our old models. Why do you need the scanning tolerances to be so small? What are you trying to find? I just want to be sure. It's, it's not like we're doing much these days anyway. The glory days are over. Why not give ourselves a challenge before they write us off in the history books? I know what I'm seeing, Victor. The data coming back from the satellites is very clear. It's the graph drives. All those jumps from the moon. At this rate, Earth's atmosphere is going to start sputtering out into space. Can the drives be fixed? I'm working on some designs that should discreetly solve the problem under the guise of an emergency update to the fueling pumps. We're talking about the end of Earth, and you're trying to be subtle about it. Judith, the last thing we need is people losing faith in grab drive technology. That might be our only option. To what? Are you seriously saying we should abandon Earth? The timeline is under 50 years. A blink of an eye for a planet, but more than enough time for a human exodus. And what do we tell people? We say it's an act of God, one that science has found a solution for. Time for humanity to take its place in the stars. You know, <laughs> didn't you? You lied to me. I... All this time. Oh. I dedicated my life to this discovery, Victor. And you knew we were going to kill off our planet? You haven't seen the future.
future I've seen. There's an infinite expanse of promise out there. A meteor could have hit Earth. A plague, another world war. Colonizing other galaxies secures humanity's future for all coming generations, across all time. At the expense of our home! Stop it, both of you. All that matters is building enough ships to get everyone off this planet. And we need to start now. I'll draft up a statement. We'll need to address the entire international community. I'm sorry, Judith. There isn't a planet in this universe that will be far enough away from you, Victor. We are never speaking again after this is over. Wow. That's... That's a twist I didn't see happening. My name is Dr. Victor Isa. And if you're listening to this, then you probably already know the truth. I was young when I first headed the retrieval team of an odd gravitational anomaly on Mars. But I kept what really happened that day hidden from everyone except one other person. Even she didn't believe me at first. But I have no reason to lie to anyone now, so I... I hope you'll accept this... confession. Whoever you are. When I touched the anomaly, I experienced 12 days of lost time. I met... myself. He told me everything that has since come true. The grav drive equations, the tests on the moon, Earth's atmosphere sputtering away because of what we had done. But he also told me about a city thriving on a planet orbiting a distant star. Human culture, art, music, lifestyles evolving and shining brightly across all of space. What price would I be willing to pay for that future? Maybe you don't believe me. Maybe Judith was right and I'm just a coward who wants to believe his mistakes were justified. But everyone has forgotten about the real origins of the grav drive, this artifact from Mars. I hope you make better use of it than I did. That's kind of cool. I like that. I guess we're using it. Oh. R.I.P. Victor. Uh, how do I get it in there? direct path scene yeah I can see that you see that ah because I'm curious what's behind this. Oh. 
Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. So they found it on Mars the first time. We've arrived on the surface of Earth. We need to discuss what you found. And it looks like other Starborn got here before us. So you might have company. Oh, can I research anything? I don't have any materials on me though. Yeah, I don't have any of it on me. Oh well. against them Second body. Oh, I gotta go up more. So more starborn are me. Oh my god, I'm dead. What the? Oh, duplicate. Can I learn how to do that? I'm gonna run out of heals. This isn't gonna be good. What the heck was that? Have I been here yet? I feel like there's a certain type of weapon I should be using against them. But I don't know what the best one would be. I don't have much uh, laser stuff. Will they technically be an alien? the door. Lol. Right? Yeah, okay.
maybe get like a plus. Yay. Where's the other one? He's up there. I forget that this weapon actually works pretty well as well. Dang, well now that I'm doing more of the main story, I'm very intrigued now of where this is going. That's pretty good. means we'll probably end up exploring more. I, I want to get out of here. Oh, they're here. Okay. Do you understand now why I asked you to come here? The artifacts unlocked the secret of interstellar travel at the cost of Earth. An easy trade, honestly. Why have one world? When you can have all the settled systems. I mean... I guess? Don't you see? The power of the artifact forced humanity to the stars. They didn't get to make a choice. How many would have chosen Earth? What gave Victor Iza the right to choose for them? That's true. You see the hypocrisy in what the emissary is saying, right? They don't want to rob people of their free will, but then they steal the artifacts for themselves. In the wrong hands, the power of the artifacts can make anyone a tyrant. That's why we watch over them. The only thing you're watching out for is yourself. Oh, it's time some someone other than a starborn. Yeah, but the artifacts need to be in the right hands. Join me, old friend. We can collect the final pieces together. Oh no, you don't. You're not his old friend, remember? <clears throat> You're from another universe. Don't try to manipulate him. Oh. Okay. I couldn't win you over on philosophy. How about pragmatism? I'm more powerful than the em and you might not understand why, but I want you to succeed. You've never gotten this far before. I need to see what happens to you. That's a pretty good reason. I'm going to side with the emissary. Thank you. Well, can't say I didn't try. We'll settle this at the usual place. The buried temple will be there. You're lucky I'm a man of my word. I'll see you there. Stay for a moment. You must have questions about what happens next. We won't be able to go to the buried temple right away. There are still other artifacts out there in the settled systems that haven't been gathered. 
You'll need to work with your colleagues in constellation oh God. to find them. Um. All the other artifacts need to be gathered. I'll be bringing mine. The hunter will be bringing his, and you'll need to bring the rest. Dang. Will you be coming with me? I'll meet you in orbit above the buried temple. Why are we waiting? Couldn't we attack the hunter now? He and I have made a number of agreements over the years, if you can even call them years at this point. We let him go. In exchange, he'll wait at the buried temple. You'll be able to prepare any way you can before then. There's always a final artifact in a specific temple. The hunter and I agreed that whomever you sided with, the other would wait there. Hmm. Expect anything and everything. Other starborn human mercenaries and defenses. A okay. Dang. Four skill What? When did that happen? Uh, what do I put it in? Sweet. Wow. Now that means we need to complete this. All right, I'm going to save right before this. very much intrigued for the ending of this game because that was fun I like that um I think I'm just gonna end stream I don't think I'm gonna read out or anything um I'll be on tomorrow, tomorrow finishing uh, Starfield because I feel like for sure we should be able to do it tomorrow. Fingers crossed. I hope so. All right. I shall catch you guys tomorrow.